If you run a WordPress website like me, then probably one of the things that attracted you to using WordPress was the SEO value. It's a pretty good platform for ranking well in the search engines, but there is something that you can do to drastically improve the search engine friendliness of your website built on WordPress, and that is by using Yoast. Now, Yoast is a plugin that you can get from the plugin store. They also do a premium plugin, and it's been going now for 15 years. So it's still the default plugin that we all use as WordPress uh, owners to actually make our site as best as we can perform in those search engines. And there's a link underneath to them, by the way, because at the time of doing this video, they're doing a crazy 30% off Black Friday deal. Can't promise when you see this, it'll still be live. But if you're watching this, uh, you know, and it's over Black Friday, quickly go check it out and have a look. Because um, it really does include increase the traffic to your store if you use it properly. And what's really good as well is that Yoast will give you access to all of this training. There's a ton of courses in their Yoast SEO Academy. So even if you don't bother actually using Yoast, you really should just go and check out all of these free training courses as well. Um, and this one is probably the one that you would use first, Yoast SEO for WordPress. So if we just click start this course, you can see it's completely free and it gives you a full introduction into how to making your whole WordPress website search engine friendly as possible and to go and target those keywords that you want to rank for. And in this video, I'm actually going to use Yoast to optimize my demo WordPress site here and we're going to see what we can do with it and hopefully by the end of this video you are going to learn exactly how to make all of your website search engine friendly running on WordPress. So here I am in the Yoast plugin section on my WordPress website and I've upgraded to the premium version so I get like a load more different features that we'll go over in a moment and as I say you can get 30% off that premium if you go and get it now. And what we need to do first of all is go to here, first time configuration. So this is where we go through the process of setting up Yoast so that it can do the best job for you. And then you'll click start SEO data optimization. So we just press the button, click continue, and now it will start scanning your site. And we're gonna just tell it uh, about our site and then move through to the final configuration. And now once we've done all of that, it doesn't take very long at all. As you can see, it says, great work. Thanks to the details you provided, Yoast has enhanced your site for search engines, giving them a clearer picture of what your site is all about. And then you can go and uh, learn about how to increase your rankings in one of those courses I, sh I showed you, or you can just click on here to go back to your SEO dashboard. Next up, let's take a look at the settings. Now here we are in the site features section. There's a lot of things to unpack in here. The first couple of things are to do with AI. So Yoast AI, uh, this is a feature that helps you create better content by providing optimization suggestions that you can apply you know, however you would like to. Then the LLMs.txt, now this is really useful, especially if, let's zoom in a little bit on this. So this actually generates a file that really helps the uh, AI agents like, you know, Google Gemini and ChatGPT to actually understand the content of your website better, which is really useful if you want to rank in those like AI suggestions, the auto suggestions you see in the search results. So you definitely want to get that right. And then writing wise, it will analyze anything that you've written on your WordPress blog. If you switch this feature on, make sure that it meets all of the best SEO practices. Practices. Then we've got readability analysis. So it will even check, you know, how readable the content that you publish on your WordPress blog is. And obviously the more readable, the better. Uh, inclusive language even. So uh, this one will analyze your copy to make sure that it's kind of uh, very inclusive. Insights, this one, get more insights into what you're writing, what words you use uh, more often, and how much time does it take to read your text? That's an interesting one. Then we've got the more technical things like uh, cornerstone content. So this is the, the content that you want to have the most attention on. Text link counter, the number of internal links. And then internal linking suggestions. So this is really useful. So when you write a blog post, it's always very good to link to another blog post in with some relevant text within that post, 
Well, the internal linking suggestions will actually figure out what, what would be best to link to from a given post and then make that suggestion to you. And that's a premium feature, which is why you need to just go get that deal for 30% off quick. Then we've got uh, open graph data, X card data, Slack sharing, an admin bar menu, and then some APIs there as well. So some of the more technical features. Uh, site basics, this is where you just fill out everything to do with your, your actual site. Then we've got site representation. So is it a person? Is it an organization? Then you can upload an avatar and everything. All of this stuff is the, the kind of things that appear in the search engine. So it's very important that you have these images uploaded. And then we've got content types down here. You've got your home page. Again, social media appearance. You want to upload an image there, 1200 by 675. And then posts just here. You've got search appearance, show posts in search results social media appearance, the schema. So there's a lot of settings to go through, but I won't go through all of them. I think what you need to do is just take a good look through that SEO Academy that's provided free of charge by you so that you can get all this set up. Uh, again, another premium feature here is this social media appearance. So when somebody posts your, um, your actual post or your blog, onto social media, it uses this image and these details. So it makes your site look good basically when somebody shares it. Next up, we're in the tools section and there's some very useful ones here. So you've got import and export. Let me just zoom in a bit, there you go. Uh, from other SEO plugins that you might have had and you can export your settings. Then file editor, you can change important files for your SEO like your robots.txt, that's very important. Maybe if you wanna block uh, other search engines or LLMs from visiting your site and scraping the data, you can do that in there. Then you've got a bulk editor, so you can change titles and descriptions of your posts and pages all at once, that's really useful. And this one here, which I've just done straight away, use this one. Uh, this is to optimize your site, basically. You can speed up your site and get an insight into your internal linking structure by letting them perform a, a few optimizations in the way that the SEO data is stored. So that's an essential thing to go ahead and do. There's the Academy, which is built right into, uh, into the Yoast here. And then we've got uh, the plans just here, which we've already spoke about, the, the uh, Yoast Premium. In fact, let's nip over to that. Look at that, 30% off at the moment. What a deal. I mean, if, you, if you're running a WooCommerce store and you're selling any kind of products and things like that, they do a special Yoast WooCommerce SEO plan there as well. And then uh, Yoast SEO Premium for like a normal blog. And then you've got Yoast SEO with AI Plus. All of these are 30% off if you get the annual plan. So well worth doing. So on to some of the premium features here. We've got workouts, which is kind of fun. Look at these. So you've got two things going on here. This one um, is basically rank with articles you want to rank with. Uh, so make your important articles rank higher and bring more visitors to your articles. And you can go through this process uh, to try and get that to happen using the cornerstone approach. And this one is to go and find any content on your blog that hasn't got any other pages linking to it. That's what they call orphaned content. And it's very important that all pages on your site have got other pages linking to it. Otherwise, the search engine thinks, well, well, one, it may not find it, but two, also it thinks was well, completely unimportant because there's not another single page that links to it. So this will help you go and find those. I'll bet you've got some right now in your WordPress blog that needs sorting out. And if you don't do it, you know what? You won't rank as well. Then we've got redirects. That's another premium feature just there. You can just uh, remove or redirect from old URLs to new URLs if you have that need. And then we've got support down the bottom left here. And one thing you might have noticed down here is we've got the ability to use live chat with the Yoast team as a premium member. And that is so useful. Um, already I've used it and they responded super fast. So I was very impressed. And then you've got all of the uh, resources and uh, Q and A's here to just to help you get the most out of using Yoast. But let's go to a post right now. And I'll just show you one of the most quick and easy useful ways to uh, optimize an individual post. So here's a post I've got right now. This one is just about coffee. So now we're in the post. 
But just down the bottom, you can see it's got Yoast SEO Premium, which means that we can go through and we can optimize how this performs in the search engines, this particular blog post. For a start, what's really good is it shows you how it looks when someone does do a Google search. So there you go. So you can see all of your title and everything. You can see exactly what your snippet would be. At the moment, it's this terrible one right here. So we need to improve that. So you can generate a meta description using Yoast AI if you've got that particular plan. I'm just going to paste in my meta description just here and it will tell you, you know, how good that is basically with this line. So this one it's given is up to an orange level now. You can add related key phrases that you want to rank for in there and then you can track your SEO performance if you connect Yoast up with a software called Wincher. So that's worth looking at. It's, there's the internal linking suggestions that I told you about. Once we've done that data optimization, then it will look at other articles on your site and go, right, you should be linking to that one or this one to maximize the performance of your blog. Cornerstone content, we haven't got that switched on on this. So if we did, we would basically be telling the search engines this is very important, this particular article. And then there's some other advanced features just there. But very quickly, you can optimize a blog post and get it to um, be in that absolutely pristine prepared for search engines blog post, which you might as well because you've gone to the trouble of writing a great post. You really want it to rank and get you the best results we can. So in a nutshell, it's pretty much essential to have Yoast and definitely worth having the Yoast Premium. As I said, at the time of doing this video, they've got this crazy Black Friday 30% off deal. So well worth going and signing up if you run any kind of WordPress website for any purpose, really. Um, this is the plugin to have. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, press the like button and I'll see you in the next AI related video in just a minute.